Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how we converted our mudroom floors. This is original from the builder and we didn't really necessarily like it. So we changed it up and we converted it to this beautiful white flooring. The first thing that you're going to want to do is clean out the floors and make sure that it's dry and clean just because we are using a peel and stick tile and so you want the floors to be very uh, nice and dry for it to adhere properly and we went with these floor tiles we bought them on amazon we use the same brand for our laundry room if you haven't checked out that video i will link it down below for you guys to check out but it's been over a year and a half that we did the floors in our laundry room and it's still the same as it was the first day that we did it so we went with the same brand but we did go with a different design and here in the boxes it pretty much tells you how many you need based on the square footage of the area so you're going to have to measure that and then the tools and how to prepare and do everything so it's pretty simple and easy to do here what we're doing is we just lay them out first to see how many tiles fit per the width of the floor and then if we're going to need to cut one out so as you can see we're going to have to trim one in half and then we're deciding whether we want the ones that are going to be cut in half to be seen when we come in from the door into the mud room or if we're going to want it to be seen when we're leaving the mud room so that was a decision that we needed to make and obviously maybe depending on your area you might not need to cut it down but we definitely needed to do that and then after we decided um we went ahead and started doing it so it's pretty simple you just remove the backing off of the tile and then you place it on the floor and then you want to go ahead and follow the design so if you have a tile like ours that the design has to meet each tile you're going to have to ensure that you're doing that from the beginning because then it can get a little complicated if you don't follow the design and yeah so you pretty much just do that all around now the trim piece that you see here we decided that we weren't going to take it out however we ended up realizing that the floor the wall isn't straight not sure why not but however we decided to take out the trim after the fact just to make it easier on ourselves um you don't need to do it we didn't do it in the laundry room because the walls were perfectly even and straight but again if your walls aren't straight you're gonna have an issue so you should remove the trim piece from the bottom the baseboard and then you will put it underneath and then follow the design that way and this is how it turned out so we really like how it came out the design is so nice it looks so nice put together and i love it it works well with our mudroom area and if you haven't checked out that video i will link it down below for you guys but we did remake this area a few months ago and the only thing missing were the floors so now we finally did it this shoe storage is from ikea in case you're wondering and yeah so the floor looks great the only thing uh, for right now, the complaint is that it doesn't seem to be good quality. As you can see here, it's already lifting up and it's only been a few hours. So I'm not sure it's going to be good for us just because we do use this area every single day. And so if it's already lifting up, that's not a good sign. And it also has a little chip here and a chip here. So again, I'm not sure how it's going to work for us. But for right now, it works fine. I love it. I like how it looks. We did use this brand for our laundry room and that it's been a year and a half and that's really good it hasn't lifted or anything so but it is a different design so maybe the design the quality of this one i'm not sure but hoping for the best but for right now we do love it and i hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing and i'll be back with more videos